hello guys so here is the vintage soft vintage material i'll be using for this so this is me i'm taking the shoulder to shoulder measurement which is um 18 inches divided by two so i'll just add the normal eight inches there and then i'll take my part uh, my marker now just for you to see it clearly so that's nine inches i'll go down by one inches for the shoulder slope so from that one inches i will add additional one inches because it's armless and i want the you know shoulder to be covered so now i will just be putting the um neck width which is three inches and then for the back neck depth i'll be putting one and a half inches for the neck width for the front i'll first go down by three inches and then later on i'll be adding extra so here is the um, shoulder slant, which is from that 3 inches to the 9 inches slope. So now connect this now. I will be adding additional 1 inches to the neck width, which will make it 4 inches. I hope you can see this. So after that now, I will just be outlining this with my pattern master on a straight line before connecting every other thing together from the neck width to the neck depth of the back line and for the front um, neck depth as well as you can see me doing with my pattern uh, marker so here is the two neck lines now doing that i'll take my measuring tape now remember i said i added one inches here and then from the normal eight inches shoulder slope i'll go down by eight inches after doing that, I will be um, outlining it. I will outline 8 inches as well from there for the chest line. And then I will connect 8 inches too from this end here. So I will be connecting it from that um, 8 inches downwards from this side to this point here. So I will connect it now using my pen. And then after doing that, remember the 1 inches excess that i extended to make it nine inches i will then connect it to this um shoulder i mean to this arm o line but before doing that i will be taking the measurement for the round bus um circumference so which is um 42 inches so 42 inches divided by four i will add whatever i have there then i will add extra inches to it so that's what i'm doing now so i'll outline it and after outlining it i will take my measuring tape and then i'll be outlining the midpoint of this straight line here so whatever it gives me i'll outline it and then i'll go in by half an inch which is going to be serving as my ham hole for the front um curve so i'll connect those three lines now together from the shoulder line downwards to the post um, actual measurement as you can see me doing now so after connecting this I will take my pattern master again and then I will extend the lines to the um, um, allowance to the sewing allowance this is me I'm just trying to draw it closer to the camera so you can see it clearly so after all this now gets the one inches excess for this um, shoulder slope which gives it nine inches i'll be connecting it directly from that place with my pattern master to meet up with the front arm o curve as you can see me doing i hope you all can see this clearly so can you see it so that's why i said i'll be you know um leaving that for later so this is it so now just be connecting the back arm o curve right now from that midpoint downwards following the guide as you can see so this is the front and that is the back and whatever you're cutting must be from that shoulder slope so that will be all for the upper area of the dress so right now i'll be connecting this now as you well know this is a a line dress if a line flay dress so whatever you are having for the whole of the fabric you are having remember i said this is into four 
so i'll be um extending this now to the down part of the dress so let me just show you how it is with my ruler so i'll be extending this downward whatever volume of your of the material you are having is what you will be achieving so now just be connecting it straight down this uh, material here is into four i folded it into four so if if you are to be having like 60 inches i mean 30 inches on fold that means you'll be having 60 inches wide for both the back and the front so i hope you all understand what i just explained now so because of this soft fabric i will just be you know dragging it and arranging it just making sure it's well laid before outlining it so here is it as you can see so i will outline it now from that place to the end of the dress so here is it and um this is actually not the length of the fabric i need so i'll get extra fabric i'm having left so i need just a bit of um fabric um to actually make this um gown to be floor length just like my clients need so the length of the fabric is not really as long as i want to so this is just to put extra design so here is five inches so the actual fabric i'm having here is just 60 inches so this here will make it after joining everything together it will make it 63 inches in length so i'll just be adding it and this here is just one so i'll be cutting another one for the back measurement so here is it so i'll just extend that slant line as you can see so i'll be extending it so it gets wider the down part of the dress so i hope you all can see this so i'll just extend that line towards that direction so and i will do likewise today i'm just using this one as a guide to cut the back panel so now i'll outline it properly so it is clear and then i'll take my scissors and i'll cut it out now after cutting it out now take from the shoulder line down to the waist your down waist line or you take from your arm or curve under your arm or to the waistline which is nine inches thereabouts so i'll notch it now make sure you're notching everything together then i will be removing one of this piece now which is the back bodies leaving the front bodies um on the table so i'll be cutting the um neckline and the armhole so before doing that remember we have a slit on the front um chest line so i'll go up by half an inch from the neck depth i'll go up by half an inch and then i'll measure four inches downwards you can measure as as long as you want it to be so i'll be adding extra half an inch on this line which is the half inches i went up with so I'll then connect it as you can see me doing as a v-shape connecting it to that um half inches i went up with so i'll then cut it out using my scissors so i'll be extending this now to the whole of the neckline so now after doing this i'll just reshaping this neckline area so after shaping this i'll cut out this armhole for the front bodies so after doing this i'll open it wild for you to see it clearly what we've done so far so can you see how 
beautiful this is looking so as like i said earlier you can actually make yours deeper or wider depending on your preference so now i'll align this together now and i'll take my um extra fabric which is the remnant of the fabric i'm having left so i'll be using this now to cut out the pockets so um you already know how i do my pockets so this one will be a bit different from the usual pocket i normally cut out so here is it this is into four as you can see length is um 10 inches so i'll shape it using my scissors now so after shaping it i'll cut this side to make it straight because this side is where i'll be sewing into the dress so i'll measure eight inches downwards now and then i'll go in by half an inch to one inches and then i'll shape it as you can see me doing it so this will be sewn into the dress while this will be inside the dress so that will be whole for the pocket so now i'll take the dress the front um, dress again and i'll be cutting the facing for this dress so this is the leftover fabric i'll be using to cut this out now so after placing it properly i'll then take my scissors to cut it following the shape as you can see me doing just make sure whatever you're cutting is accurate with um, whatever you're having and then you go down by some inches before cutting it out as you can see so i'll do likewise for the back and come back and show you after sewing it so here is the shoulder i've joined the shoulder i've joined the facings together i've joined the pockets so um just before i finished it i had to come and show you guys how it is looking so here is the facing as you can see i already top stitched it also so the next thing i'll be doing now as you can see the pocket i stitched everything with um quarter of an inch so i will join this together using quarter of an inch as well from the um area there as you can see i'll go down by half an inch and then when i'm coming down from here i'll start with um i'll continue with quarter of an inch round the pocket and then i'll come out like so from the pocket area i'll go in i will be using following the quarter of an inch measurements to sew it downwards to the end of the um dress so when you get to this joining part just so you have a very nice and neat sewing on this um area here as you can see so you make sure this joining part is facing up while you're sewing it so you get a very neat and flowing sewing i mean till lord um sewing after everything so you make sure it's facing up then you sew it as you can see how laid that is looking when it's facing up and then you sew the other side and turn it around and that will be all for today's tutorial please subscribe to my channel like this video comment below where you're watching this video from thanks again for watching and do not forget to turn on your notification bell and also share this video with loved ones guys thank you until i see you again in the next one Bye.